Now at six, the United States has officially ended its 20-year mission in Afghanistan. Since the end of July, more than 120,000 people have been evacuated from the country, including more than 5,000 Americans. Now, some of those Afghan refugees are coming to the Bay Area. KPI X5's Kit Doe with some of the ways people here in the Bay Area can help. Kit? You know, over the past couple of weeks, I have spoken to more than a few people who are thinking about opening up their homes to these Afghan refugees. Well, we met the Castlemans today here in the South Bay, and they say that that is one of the most rewarding things they have ever done. And this is it? This is the bedroom. To anyone out there with room in your home and your hearts, Doreen Castleman wants you to know now what she wishes she knew then. I would say how enjoyable and rewarding and easy it was. I agree. You would have done it sooner, you think? Yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> Doreen and her husband Jim have taken in not one or two or three, but a total of eight refugees, some from Afghanistan since 2018. For some people, it was a big transition to be on a bed versus being on the floor. They have each come one at a time and stayed in this bedroom, some for a few months, some for as long as a year. Here, the refugees have their own space, a bathroom. There's room in the fridge and cupboards for their own food. If they wish, they join the family for dinner and sometimes even jump in themselves. They would actually cook for you sometimes? Oh, absolutely. And they did a fantastic job of cooking. If there's a language barrier, they just use Google Translate. The refugees join the Castlemans on day trips all around California and learn about American life. And along the way, become something like family. You know, once it starts and once people know the great experience, like the one that we've had, I think it just um, makes it much easier to take the risk. I feel that connection that we need to help. T. Tran came to the U.S. as a refugee from Vietnam in 1978, and the images from Afghanistan have struck her and many in San Jose's Vietnamese community deeply. She says we have a moral obligation to do what we can. We thank America for giving us that chance to live again in a democracy in the society where human rights is, is honor. You know, Kate, it's so remarkable that these families are willing to let these people into their homes for an extended period of time. I'm curious, is the goal to eventually help them start their own lives here in the States? Yeah, so that's what uh, groups like uh, Jewish Family Services of Silicon Valley does. They set them up with job training and education, mental health counseling. The idea is that they do not stay with their host family forever, but instead they empower them to go out and find their own lives. Amazing service they provide. All right, Kit, thank you.